Welcome back to Find Fix Flip. This is episode number five of the LS1 rebuild. It's taken a while, it's a ton of video editing, but in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to put in the LS2 timing chain, how to install our brand new Melling 295 oil pump, and all the torques and tools and all the specifics you need to get this job done. Um, it's gonna be a very involved, so just follow along. I'm gonna try to make this as easy of a DIY to follow. And if you haven't done so already, hit the like and uh, feel free to subscribe. I come out with content like this every week or two. I'm trying to get it on the weekly schedule, but enough of me talking, let's get to work. All right guys, so we are leaning over the car here. I'm gonna hold our our hand with one hand steady on here. And we're going to break the thing loose. Break it loose, boom, just like that. Same with this one. Boom, just like that. One more. Hold it steady. Okay. Now these are all broken loose. Our timing has not moved. And now we're going to just loosen some extension. So we did it spin. We're loosening up our crankshaft bolt. So this whole piece. Just pull this gear off. Boom. And just like that. See? So now we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna set this here really quickly. And now we're going to dig in our bag. Get our chain, it's nice and oiled. There we go. Wipe off our chain just a little bit. Here we go. Put a little bit of oil on the back of the gear. We're just gonna put our new chain on here. Now we're just going to put this back down.
because there we go. Our gears are lined up. Let me get a better shot for you guys. Yeah, my hands are greasy as hell right now. Look at that, guys. You guys can see that. These lights kind of suck, but see how our gear marks? Right here. Our gear marks line up. There's our mark. There's our mark. It's right back on. Easy as pie. Now we're just gonna put our uh, put our bolts back in. All right. So now we're going to do our first pass with 15 foot pounds. There's 15, I'm gonna turn up to 25. We're at 25 foot pounds. And the second pass is one, two, three. 25 foot pounds. We got a little play in the chain. But our timing marks are dead on. The chain is installed. All right guys, now it's time to install our melting oil pump. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe these surfaces with some paper towels. Get any of our dust and debris that might have fallen on the motor. I had it covered with a towel, but somebody lifted it up. Not sure who. It's all good though. And uh, I'm gonna pull this old. I'm gonna pull the old uh, seal off. And mine, even though it looks, uh, even though it looks green, it's actually blue. And they say blue. The perfect one to put is this new black one. So we're just gonna put a little bit of oil. Put a little bit of oil and pop our new ring on here. There we go. Our new ring's ready. bad boy up with the gears. I'm gonna pop that seal in. Fit, but I think it's gonna flush out. Good bird's eye view of this. I don't like how this bolt is. Not. Oh, there we go. It just popped in. Now for the fun, guys. We gotta put this little bolt into the oil pump inlet. I'm gonna take off my gloves for this one because we gotta take real, be real careful. Reach in here, slide it in the hole. Let's 
start turning. Oh shit. No dropping the pan. And it's only nine foot pounds, so we don't want to over torque it. But we want it to have a good seal. So just gotta be real careful. She's almost there. That's good. That's good. She's sealed in there. Alright, so now we just put these in. And we're going to torque these to uh, 18. I forgot to put some blue Loctite on our bolts because we don't want we don't want the oil pump bolts backing out. Blue Loctite, some thread locker. Right there, we're gonna have to do the same to cam bolts. I'm not gonna back out the one on the oil pump uh, inlet tube. That thing is pain in the ass. Kinda scary, don't wanna deal with it. It should be fine though. Okay, so we're at 18 foot pounds. Run it over here. Is 18, 18, there we go. Our oil pump, our 295 million is installed. We are going to step here. We are going to back out um, our cam bolts because I forgot. to put Loctite on these things. Our 15 foot pounds. Third pass, I mean second pass, 25. Three, twenty-five. All right. Our oil pump and new timing chain. Our timings lined up with the marks. See the mark right here, where my finger's at, with this mark. They're perpendicular or horizontal, whatever. So that is good to go. Now we're gonna work on putting our timing cover on. RTV. I don't have the blue, but I got the red. It says high temperature, so it should be good. Uh, we're gonna put it right here on the corners where the block meets the oil pan. And I'm gonna put it on this whole line 
underneath the oil pump. Over here, the block meets the oil pan. And then I'm gonna put it on this bottom line. There's like conflicting stuff about it, but I feel that this should be a safe line under here. A good seal point so we don't have to pull it all back off again. Everything else is gonna go on dry. There we go, just like that. Now, I didn't like the idea of the, uh, I'll have to buy all these uh, alignment tools when, when I've researched is we can just uh, put the timing cover on loosely and then torque the um, tensioner bolt down and then tighten the cover. There's only one orientation this thing goes anyway. So we're just going to slide it over here, line it up with our holes, just like that. And then we're going to slide this bad boy on here. Like that. Just like that. Now we're gonna go get our bolts. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna gotta find that hole. Found the hole. This thing is definitely seeming to go in on this side, so we're we're lined up on this side. We want to do the same for this little tight space over here. Okay, just snug. An awkward angle. We'll tighten those after we put the harmonic balancer on. And now we want to take all our other bolts. Put a little bit of blue lock tight. Move up the crank. And we're going to slide her on. There we go. This bolt's going to be crazy hard to get to. I should tighten this thing. You can pull this back. I want to tighten this. Lower bolt, because this thing is going to be a real pain in the ass to get to. Slide it on.
guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we're about to start really digging in the meat and potatoes of this engine. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set your valve lash, your piston to valve clearance, and also uh, we're going to start uh, installing our new push rods and our new L7 uh, upgraded lifters for the motor. Really excited. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, uh, like, comment, subscribe. And if you haven't watched any of the other videos leading up to this, you might like this one or this one.